What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. I want to show you in this video a very simple way of identifying a nice, simple breaker structure, return to a level. It's very, very basic. This is a core understanding of a strategy, but it's using it in a slightly different way. We're going to be focusing more on the candles rather than the overall swings of market structure, which should actually make things simpler because you have to focus on less information. And we're going to be focusing on the 15 minute here, but this can be applied to pretty much most time frames. But as always, you must make sure that you backtest these things in order to get a clear idea of what um, to expect. Okay. So what's the premise of what we're doing? Typically, a very, very standard setup these days is just a nice break of structure and return, break of structure, pullback, et cetera. This is very common. What we're going to do is we're going to illustrate something very similar, but using candles instead of swings. So what do I mean by that? Well, a swing would be, you know, if you eyeball it, you can see that that's pretty much a high, that's a low, that's another low. You can kind of see, and that would be a swing because you've got multiple candles making up each element of the swing. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the same thing, just applied to candles. Now, the second difference is going to be we are going to be waiting for a touch after we break. Okay, so this is going to look like a wick, but then we're going to be waiting for a second bounce into that area. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by this. So we're almost looking for double top or double bottom continuations in a trend. So not as a reversal, but as a uh, continuation. But this doesn't look like I just showed you there. It's going to look, because we're using candles, it's going to look a little bit different. So best way to show you is just to show you. So let's start from over here. Um, we'll go back here so that we can see it like this. So what we're doing is we're monitoring the current candle close or the most recent candle to have closed in comparison to the candle before that, okay? So we're essentially, if we close above the previous candle high, then that is going to be our first indication of a break of structure. But we also want the candle to hold after that because what will often happen is if we print a, let's just say a bullish candle here, it looks like it's going up, but then it prints bearish immediately afterwards. That's not going to be a good setup for us. And so we just want to have that holding candle as that confirmation. Okay, so I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we're going down here because the candles are closing lower than their previous. But then right here, we've closed above the previous candle high. Now, this doesn't mean that we are switching to buys yet because we want a candle to hold here first. Okay, so we wait for it to close, obviously. Then we've closed. Now, what we ideally want is the area that we have broken out of. We do not want this area. So I just imagine this is a zone, these two lines, right? We don't want the lower one because this is the last one. We don't price to close back below here. It's possible it could close below here and still going, go up, but I just prefer to keep it as I don't want it to close back below here again, okay? Then we come down here. Now, this area that this first holding candle creates acts as a very good zone for us to look for potential buys. Now, I'm not going to go down to the one minute or a lower time frame in this video, but if you did want to, you can go down around about here after that holding candles formed and look for a clear sign or clear entry to confirm that buy. And then we'll be looking to buy where we be looking to target as with every strategy on the planet, guys, there's loads of different ways to target. You can have a fixed risk reward. You can target old highs, maybe this high, maybe this high, maybe the wick highs up here, maybe above there, maybe something from the left. There's infinite ways of doing it. I don't want to focus too much on targets. I just want to get you the key understanding of how this simple strategy works. We had the break, we have the hold, we've come back into that area. Then we have a nice example right here, okay? So now what have we had again? We've had this same thing happen right here. Now, let me just mark out the one from the previous as well, hopefully so you can see a pattern, because if you think about what we're looking at here, it's the exact same thing as your typical break of structure, form a level, continue. Break of structure, let's see if we hold, Okay, so in this case, we've held, great. So then we mark this out as a rough area that we can look at. Okay, now in this case, looks at this point, let's see where we are within the overall thing here. Okay, so this is actually broken back down again. And as you can see, this is very close up to price that what we're doing here. So this is a loss because that buy was going to be a loss. But now we've broken down. Let's see if we hold below. Where are we looking for it to hold below? We want to make sure it doesn't close above here because that's the entire wick range of what we were dealing with. So as long as it stays within here without, you know, can wick above, but as long as it doesn't close above here, we are good um, for 
continued cells. Okay, now this is good because now we can draw this rough zone around here. And now we're looking for cells within here. Okay, because we're already in that zone because we closed bullish here, we could theoretically just sell it here if we didn't want to go down to a lower time frame. I would prefer to refine it a little bit, um, but each to their own. Okay, so now, yep, we had a nice little reaction off there. So that was a win. Um, and then right here, we've had another break of structure. So simply wait for it to hold. That's our hold right there. We're monitoring the wick. And the great thing about this is we don't need to necessarily wait for it to retrace by a certain amount because the market is not always going to retrace by a certain amount. It's not always going to retrace to the 618 FIB or the six or 789, whatever the hell it is. You know, it's not going to, um, uh, 786 is what it is. Um, it's not always going to retrace to those areas. And whilst there's nothing wrong with waiting for it, I just prefer to, you know, stick close to what price actually is showing me. And we can see here, this holding candle closes, we come touch back up into the area and we begin going down again. And the cycle repeats itself over and over again. Okay, now does this mean you're always going to be right? No, you're playing a numbers game, guys, as always. I know I sound like a broken record. I've been saying it for as long as I've been making videos. Trading is just numbers, 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 letting the numbers play out, staying consistent, not getting emotional. That's it. Okay. And so here we've come back up into this area. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we have had a little move here, but you know, whether we continue this, I'm not sure because we have kind of entered that consolidation, but we have had something interesting here and I'm glad we've had this example because what's happened here is it looks like we've closed below and we have, but we haven't held because what's happened, we've then closed bullish immediately. And so we always want to favor the most recent break, okay, assuming that it holds. So we break bullish again here. Okay, so now we've held, so that's really, really nice. Okay. Okay, so we've tapped into here, into this zone, and now we've continued going up, okay? And then we've seen the exact same thing over here. So we have had this break right here, Held, the hold has gone up here, but this is a, a, another interesting scenario because we've also broken again, okay? What that means is it means we, remember, we favor the most recent break, okay? So then we keep this here, just mark this out like this. Okay, let's see if we hold this level. Okay, so we have, Okay, so in this case, it actually looks like we've broken back down. So this is going to be invalidated, but we still haven't had a bearish break, so to speak, by the looks of it. I know we have just slightly. Um, it's not the most confident one. This is where, you know, an element of discretion is good as you get more advanced. But if you are just sticking to it um, uh, from a mechanical perspective, this would still not be valid for either a long or a short. Um, and over here we've now had a bullish break. So regardless of whether you missed that whole area because you were sticking to rules, whether you were allowed for a little bit of discretion to understand what's going on, it doesn't matter. It's all about what stage you're at and just accepting the stage you're at and just having a little bit of faith in whatever your rules are um, uh, altogether, right? So let's mark out a couple more here. So we've held above that level. Okay, so let's put that down as a loss. I don't think we've forgotten to do this. That's a win. That's a win. Okay, so now again, we've just, we're just playing both sides in a sense. You can add more confluences to this as well by kind of zooming out, understanding what phase we're in, what the overall timeframes are saying on the, on uh, higher up the timeframes. I mean, you know, there's lots of different ways to do this. It's not about being right. Being right is actually quite irrelevant as with any strategy, okay? Okay, so it looks like there was some news around here. Um, one, one thirty. So these, the structure here is going to be a little bit all over the place. Um, I think we should probably just leave it here because I don't really like trading um, around news. I don't really like trading after news either. Um, not in these circumstances anyway. So yeah, so as you can see, you know, it's not a massive sample size, but you can see hopefully the potential of a very, very simple set of rules. We're just using candle highs and lows instead of structural highs and lows, waiting for it to hold and then waiting for it to come back and test that level and then continue. Very, very simple.
Um, so listen, I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this. Um, this is very similar to uh, a version of what we are posting um, in the groups, which you can find access to below this video, uh, where we post um, pretty much all of our setups in there. And, uh, and yeah, and you also get free access to the course in its entirety and all of that fun sort of stuff. So I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to see you on the next one. Take care, guys.